M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here on FT Restore, which works on the FT 1200, 3000, 5000, FT 891, 991A, and 991. So, this is a great program for reading, saving memories and settings, and it's free. And that's, that's excellent. It's made by Chris VK2BYI. I'll put the link in the description. He does have a video, and there's instructions here. I'll just fire it up for you. Just Right, let's fire up the software, FT Restore. Now our device manager, if we go right click, device manager, and double click ports, there's us there, Silicon Labs and Wacom 10. Now make sure you run your FT991 USB drivers. Once you've done that, this is the, the shortcut from FT Restore. There you go, now we're gonna start new, set the COM, so you go File New, you set COM, and then you select Request to Send, and then you click OK. It does open a tab each time, which is handy. Apparently you can run more, more than one sh sheet at a time, if you've got more than one radio. But that, have a look at Chris's video. So let's go Radio, Get Memory Channels, click Yes. And then it gets your memory channels. Now you can receive and send. So I think it's working at quite a good speed. Can't really hear anything coming from the radio. I can still use the radio. You hear it in the background? Lovely radio, the FT991. So that seems to have worked and completed. So there's all our memory channels. I think we have 44. So let's do the settings now. So radio, menu settings. Then we're going to go radio, get settings. It's now going to get all the settings in our radio. And the idea is now that we can save this. Because when you do a firmware upgrade on the 991, you lose all, the, you lose all this. And there isn't actually a free program um, available, as far as I can see, apart from FT Restore. So thanks very much to Chris for making this program, VK2BYI. So it looks like we've got all our settings. And then if we wanted to save them, we just go File, Save, and then Save them somewhere. That's the settings saved. And we go, like I said, it does open a new window each time, which is quite handy. And you, can you change the title? Not sure. So let's, um, let's, what else can we do? Let's, should we send it to the radio? We'll go Radio. Menu settings. Now let's go. So we're on menu chat. We're on memory channels. So radio, set memory channels. And look, now it's sending it the other way. You can hear the radio is flashing away now. As it does that. There you are. That's done. I think that's it. I think that's all I can show you. Where you got preferences. Have a play, let me know what you think. Open open worksheet tabs. You don't have to open new tab by the looks of it. Let's get the data from the radio again. Get memory channels. Yes. Update uploading memory channels. I like the digital noise reduction on the 991, it just sounds good. And of course I can use C4FM, VHF, UHF. So I'm really impressed with this, come on it's free. There's more to this. Menu settings. So you can look at them, then you can go radio, cat command, now apparently you can create, I mean I, this is too advanced for me cat commands to make the radio do things like turn on and off. It's all in Chris's video. Have a look. There's documentation here. There's release notes. I'll download that to see what that looks like. FT restore. And it works on several radios. FT 5000, 891, 991. 1200, 3000. So look at that. Because I don't know what I'm talking about, but the instructions from the creator do. So read these instructions. And thanks very much to Chris. So 73.
Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.